just just sort of happened. Just sort of happened. So y'all were both Protestant before you. Yes, very Protestant. So how did that conversion? Because I, you were the the person who really started it, right? Like you sort of no convinced Dad. No, that's no, not true. What do you really think? That's the way it worked. I mean, I these stories have been told to me like occasionally, but I think I hear it slightly different every time, or mm. I'm not paying attention to certain parts sometimes and certain parts other times. So. No, so I was reading this book called, we, we were dating pretty seriously. This was maybe a year later. Mm-hmm. And I was reading a book called A Severe Mercy by Sheldon Van Auken, which is a memoir of uh, Sheldon and his wife, Davy, and their conversion, their friendship with C.S. Lewis in the 40s, uh, 40s and 50s. And then his eventual, he, he and she eventually converted to Christianity. Uh Um, Sheldon Van Auken converted to Catholicism later in his life, but I did not know that at the time I was just reading this book, which was actually came out in the seventies and we called it the crying book because every time I read a chapter, (laughs) I would cry. And if you've ever read the book, I won't spoil it for you. I mean, if you've read it, you know, but if you haven't, I won't spoil it for you. But, um, uh, anyway, it's a crying book. It makes me sad. And so eventually, I can't remember, honestly can't remember if dad had already read the book or if I was reading it and then I was just reading pieces to him. But there's a por- a portion of the book where C.S. Lewis and Shunem and Auckland are passing like a, a uh, their letters back and forth. And in one of the letters, they're talking about worshiping Mary. And C.S. Lewis, you know, he doesn't say it's terrible, but he just says, like, I just wonder if any any love that we give to Mary is really misplaced and ought to be given to Christ. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's it's not like completely negative about Christians. I mean, um, about Catholics, Catholics. And, and Mary, but, you know, there's yet definitely like an, um, not a positive spin on that. And I was like, I, I was like, I totally agree with that because Catholics <laughs> are the way they worship are Mary is awful. And your dad, apropos of nothing, says, oh, well, I mean, I might become Catholic one day. <laughs> so what was the image of Catholicism to you who was a Protestant, who were born in the South? Well, to be fair to Catholics, I had never been to a Catholic service. Mm-hmm. I had never really researched Catholicism. I had not, except for the Bible, right? Scripture. And then... Martin Luther onwards. Mm. And then I was a Methodist, right? So I knew that um, John Wesley and and his brother Charles were both Anglican ministers who moved to America and then founded the Methodist church. But as far as like what happened in the 1500 years prior to the Protestant Reformation, Mm -hmm. it, I didn't ever think about that at all, ever. But in general, I thought Protestant, I mean, I thought Catholics were probably going to hell. There were maybe some sincere Catholics that might, like, that might make it. Uh Uh-huh. But. But that would be by accident, not by design. So did you, did you meet anyone Catholic and you. No, I didn't really know Catholics. Well, it it is the South. So there's just. It is the South. You don't meet Catholics. 